got those hands. <laughs> yeah, so uh, almost Luisa, one tinker against <laughs> like. Luisa defeated me last round with Library of Alexandria um, in both games. So he's played three games now and three three turn one or uh, <laughs> three three libraries within the first two turns of the game. Um, but this might be uh, Caleb's way to kind of punk out the the turn one library, just yeah. get the game over with with this Blightsteel Colossus. I don't even know if Luis has any outs from now. He does. He has several. Oh, yeah, he has some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, uh, removal spells, oust, swords to plashers, just to name a couple, but he's got to find them. Okay, planes, draw with library. And GG. Okay, Holy that was cow. Quick. Caleb, <laughs> making it look easy. Uh, though that game, like, it, it, it was, that was both the most lopsided game ever and kind of scarily close. Luis had uh, many, many shots to find several answers to that blight steal, in which case um, the yeah. game would have been, of course, a lot different. Yeah. Both players with pretty nice blue-white decks here. Um, have a look at them side by side and, and uh, tell me what you think. Well, I, I saw Luis Dex earlier, and of course, it's great with two pieces like Soul Ring and Uncolor Mox. Um, and so, so many good spells to interact. Of course, this was so, so fast, but I think it's a pretty cool deck. And on his hands, it's like a, like a beast. So, like on Kalev's side, I saw like both matches, well, both games against Ellie. And Tinker is a really good card. So as long as he resolves Tinker early, it, it's gonna be very hard to beat. And he has so many good cards as well. Like Critical Man is great. Like of course Ancestral and Fast Mana with Lotus. So I think it's pretty, pretty even this battle. Besides this game one, very lopsided. <laughs> I think we go, we can see like very good games. Yeah, I hope so. Um... They're, they share the same colors, blue and white, but but very different decks, as you outlined. Um, LSV's deck, it, it looks like just a very clean, kind of classic cube deck, almost like you would have seen five or six years ago from the Vintage Cube. Um, lots yeah. of good control elements, a few counter spells, the Library of Alexandria, um, whereas Caleb's is more uh, explosive, shall we say, the, the, the best cards in Caleb's deck, like Tinker and Ancestral Recall can make a big difference. And here he has a uh, turn one ancestral, which will give him a pretty significant advantage as we move along. Yeah. And tutor for Tinker. Good. I does does Kalev have another good target for Tinker or is it just Colossus? It looks like for this matchup he's he's gonna want the Colossus. He has of course the batter skull, which against a, a deck more like yours could come up. Yeah. Um but yeah, that's a great question. Because that host can be very cool. I wonder if Caleb will have a hard time uh, fighting this true name nemesis. Mm. You know, Even more with for Will now. Yeah. That comes down. I think I will like this card. Spell seeker probably. Oh no no because of the blue card. Yeah, my bad. I wanted the four land for Angel, but we need like a blue card for the worst possible scenario. But Kalev's deck like with Ursa Saga making a good like good amount of artifacts, like the, the tokens. Okay. Good. Clean. Maybe this can kinda of bite the host on the construct token. Mm-hmm. Caleb did find Council's Judgment, which um, can, can answer the true name assist. So I yeah, would expect wanna... at some point in the game the players to fight over that spell. Like maybe Luis tries to force of will or mana leak the Council's Judgment. Okay. Caleb resolved Emery. He has no artifact in the graveyard yet, but keep in mind that Urza Saga Chapter 3 is ready to pop off. Yeah, he he's going for Black Lotus and can like recast it, so I can I can see.
All right, so we have a tinker drawn, a construct made, a black lotus that can be cast twice. One for tinker, one for council. Holy! <laughs> if you are LSV, you have an answer to the Blightsteel Colossus. Are you tempted to let the Tinker resolve, or are you too scared that maybe Caleb has something different? Portal to Phyrexia, or whatever it might be. I think I will let it resolve with the host. That could be an exciting moment. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, no. Okay, so this is an but interesting it's just he, like... he does not want to risk it. He counters... <laughs> The tinker. This means that Caleb, if he likes, yeah, Caleb should attack, attack attack before the tinker move to one more damage. It's not a big deal, but one damage is it's cool. Yeah, it's a good point. My God, I'm scary about Caleb's deck right now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm Black gonna be a tough round three. Black Lotus, ancestral tinker, lots of good support. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but Luis is never defeated. It's so hard to play against LSB. Yeah, no kidding. It makes you feel, you know, like several times hanging with friends, cubing, it, it makes you feel like he's so lucky, you know, like how can be that lucky and have this and this card? But it's not because of that. It's because he made a perfect use of the cards. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's really scary with a deck like this where he can see so much of his library in every game and, and find the answers and craft a good game plan. Um, I think the way to beat him is, is what Caleb did in the first game, just get the game over with on turn two or three. Agree. Oh, there was plus one on the construct, I see. The screen is not that big. I miss that. Oh, white mana. It can be good. Yep, so... This can be really good. Both of the spells in his hand, if he wants, he can even flash back a removal spell. With yeah, the I think he will, yeah. he will wait one turn to make Jace get more attacks and distract some, some turns from Kalev. But unless Kalev plays Battle School, I think he can do it. To attack for more, but rest of plus sword to plosher is, is big. You will just sword to plosher one construct, eat the other one, and then minus three host on. Yep, it's and at the, and the same up. time, fetch, fetch, mox of fire at least. I don't know if he has like a, another artifact. Let's see. Okay, Mox of Fire. So Caleb is going to lose his board. You notice from the way this game was played that Caleb took great effort to not use the Black Lotus. This yeah. was for two reasons, both to pump up his constructs and to save the mana for a big turn later on, like maybe we see it on the, the, the turn that he casts the Time Spiral. Um, and that's yeah. going to make things interesting moving on because... Uh, LSV stabilizes the board. He's got the Planeswalker active. He now has tons of mana to work with. But Ooh. Caleb's going to be able to cast this Time Spiral, and we'll see what happens then. Well, Luis doesn't have, like, a third white. So I guess it, it's going to be only minus three elves. Or it can be, like, a plus one as well. Yeah. The rare post combat Adeline. <laughs> yeah. He didn't want to give Caleb any. No, Luis, play the box. There's a time spiral around. I know, time spiral is like very. In this spot, it's kind of risky. High variance. Both decks are really good, like with a new grip. And. Oh, what a draw. So what would you do with this, Chase? Just brainstorm? I think we can minus on the 4-4 four four right now and keep like... Because if you bounce the 4-4 four four and host, okay. 
He knows better. Caracas is great here. Not, that a, not only for around. Embry, yeah, for Embry and to protect Adeline as well. Let's see if Caleb like play the time as failure or not. Okay, yeah, and Luis wants to play a, like a defensive game with two plus walkers. I can see that being like the move. You need to, to risk. Oh boy, look at this. So Narset <laughs> to, pair with, to pair with Time Spiral, you talked about how scary it is to uh, give LSV a new hand of seven cards. How about if it's seven cards against one card? It's so close. I think like at the same time, Luis can like bones Emery, bones with Jace the one of the tokens and O's the other one. And yeah, that nurse said Luis will never. Oh, but uh, he has that card as well. So Luis is going to be able to kill the nurse here, or yeah, just answer it directly with the Skyclave. Yeah, it's like you know how good it's like to have a, an active brainstorm each turn. So <laughs> I can see. Also, like the little chase ma plus one, it's getting real. Yeah, it's not, it's um, not that far. It, it can go to seven right now, but it's so tempting to just bounce the the germ. It's true. This is what we we talked about, though. LSV is so dangerous when he has this many options and when he can yeah. take the game in the direction he wants it to go. Okay, we we are like so he didn't bounce the germ because in case that Caleb doesn't have much, he can like equip better school. So here comes the time spiral, somewhat desperation because Caleb knows hmm. he can't allow the game to continue in its current state. Okay, okay. Some very good cards on Khaled, like another Ancestral and Cryptic Command. Very good. Okay we, we, okay, we definitely have a game here. Colony gonna be great as well in a few turns with this amount of mana. Like yeah, so 10. Caleb has two floating. He can make his land drop. He can use the Lotus Petal, which gives him access to a total of nine mana if he wants it. Um, Council's Judgment looks like an okay play to answer either a Planeswalker or um, maybe Adeline. Honestly, you... the Caldra, Caldra Complete is, is not that bad, right? It's pretty hard that, to interact that with. That attacks to absolutely anything. Attacks, yeah. I guess uh, that's your the answer to your question from earlier. Um, is is uh, Caleb can tinker? Oh for... my God! Force of will, the top. <laughs> oh no! Okay, okay, okay. Such a cool game. Yeah, this is a great game. It's true. This is one of those games that it's not just about the cards each player drew. It's also about how they've chosen to play them. And uh, kind, kind of trying to outguess each other and jockey for position. So it, it can be like a blowout because that force of will from the top. Totally unexpected. So here Caleb is trying to tap out LSV's blockers. The cryptic yeah. gets met with force of will. Now Caleb will probably just counsel ju counsel judgment. I'm guessing Jace the Mind Sculptor. Yeah, I agree with you. And uh, from there, th we settle back into an interesting game because both players had to use a lot of their post time spiral resources this turn. And now we're yeah. back to sort of a creature battle. 
And if I recall correctly, Library of Kalev like went to ten cards before Time Spiral. Pretty close to to be milled. Yeah, so Caleb has gone through he'll go through <laughs> the entire deck almost two times this game. Okay, bye bye, big Jace. You did a hell ton of work. So you see there that Caleb traded his germ for the Restoration Angel. Probably a good trade in the long term since he can uh, reset the batter skull or equip it to a new creature. However, in the short term, it means that Adeline okay. goes unchecked. Let's see if, like, he can. Okay, I, I saw a move to uh, put library into work. He can, like, attack and then minus three J's to consider and both their own Adeline to have seven cards and start drawing of library. But I guess yeah. being proactive, being proactive I like, is much, I like much that better. <laughs> yeah, I like Every time that I have a library, I think, OK, how can I make work this? Like, but in the end, this attack is very, it's very good. And having Jason four and next turn minus three consider and still making like opponent attack, it is like so good. So seems like Luis still refused to play that Mox of Fire. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's a three five. That was not like. Although, although LSV has a lot of ways to answer a creature in his deck, he doesn't have access to any of them right now. I think I will like minus three consider. Oh, we have five cards again. I think it, it worth it to minus three consider, then bones Adeline, draw a card, and then you can also attack with the colonnade without putting a one one attacking. So I think he will do that. I expect that. <laughs> we want three cards, we want the life oh my god. No, he don't. He's not giving me the taste. <laughs> I will I will I will complain after. Come on, Luis, we talk about this. What about the extra cards for free? At that point, is I think it's worth it to attack with everything because if they block Adeline, they need to block Adeline, I guess. Like, because they are like, I know, because they have two blockers. Okay, okay. No, it's not that easy. It's not that easy. But you know, like, I think my line was kind of better because if you just bones your own Adeline, you are not only uh, being able to draw cards with library, but you can also attack for five this turn with colonnade and for six following turn. Super clean. I agree with you. Getting the library of Alexandria online is certainly one way that LSV could have approached this game. He has found a different one that's pretty good here. I mean, to attack with the Colonnade and then Bribery, potentially putting that Blightsteel Colossus uh, to work against Caleb yeah. in this game. Yeah. Pretty cool game. Maybe maybe Revoker is better? No, not right. <laughs> no, no. Luis, 11 11. That one's, that one's bigger. And so many keywords Trample, Undestructible. <laughs> okay. What? He's fetching for. Okay, yeah, he's pretty much dead. I have high expect expectations for the following card read for game three. Mana League. I think Mana League will face Tinker and we will win. And it's more it's, it's more it's more a desire. It's more a desire. <laughs> I want to see Ancestral Recall and Black Lotus. <laughs> That's what we came to see. I will unregister from a 64 man cube. And in five minutes, being responsible. And we'll just well, sign up for the following two, one. If your team 2 owes us in this round, then neither, neither <laughs> you nor I have to play again. 
<laughs> yeah, but I don't have, I don't want to take the risk. I can wait one more hour. Yesterday I lost because of double queen. Uh, again, that was one. You, you die by it. Okay, what's going on? I don't think Caleb has any way to. Yeah, me neither. Even survive against the blight steel, let alone. Like, yeah, the longer the game it goes, the better for LSB is. Also, Sun Ring and Mox of Fire, like, give constant mana. Black Lotus is more explosive, but he can, like, bring back Battle School, just recast it and that, so it's kind of slow. So we could choose to just attack with only the flyer, put Caleb to one. It seems the Blight Steel has yeah. to be an attacker as well, even though it does let Caleb gain some life. I think you know just just no to... because if you don't attack with the Colossus, you make them attack. Well, they need to block with the four four maybe. It's less life link. Okay, yeah. Colonnade, what a card. Love yeah, it's it. nice to see an old card like that still doing work in the cube. <laughs> yes. A lot of the stuff from 10 years ago has been outclassed, but Colonnade could still do some good work in <laughs> Yeah. So not quite enough for Caleb because he's going to gain six life up to seven, but then the Colonnade can pick up one more counter from the Luminarch Aspirant, and as long as LSV doesn't attack with anything on the ground, the Flyer will uh, get the job done. Yeah. I think that was... Uh, 22 damage dealt by Celestial Colonnade. That's got to be close to a record. <laughs> yeah, also, Lumina, like props to Luminar Aspirant. What a card. Mm -hmm. That guy is so good. It reminds me to the Innkeeper, that I know that you play a lot with that card, because it's a, like a 1-1 one -one that you need to resolve, but it makes like infinite value uh, uh, until you resolve it. So good. Yeah, for sure. It's fun taking a look at uh, the decks that these players have because in the old days, I remember drafting blue-white control and it was like kind of about, you have Wrath of God and Planeswalkers and lots of card drawing. But now the, the creatures are so good at two, three, four mana, things like yeah. Luminarch, Aspirin, Adeline, that it's, it's kind of just better to construct your deck like LSV has where you're focused on card quality and you have you know, really potent threats backed up by some cheap counter spells. It, it makes more sense um, these days based on the, the, the quality of the creatures. Yeah. And also there's a lot, a lot of like annoying permanent and monarch that Wrath of Gods are not even that good lately. Cards like Fire Covenant, for example, like start to be very good because of that, like, being able to, to kill hasty creatures and instant feed is much more relevant than like a random Wrath of God. Okay, both players have some really nice hands. Um, Luis has that turn one mana leak, which you predict, predicted would be a big player in this game. Um, if he's able to find another white source, then he powers out this Adeline and things start going really, really nicely for him. Okay. And what about a turn two force of will like hard casted? Pretty good. <laughs> but now it's time of Usa Saga. Finding Black Lotus. It's kinda dangerous. Oh, he's going for that. Okay. 
it makes sense from Kayla's perspective. You really don't want to let Luis mm -hmm. untap and have five mana on turn two, but just like you uh, scripted it out, so <laughs> the, uh, the mana leak gets the two for one advantage because Caleb had to invest his uh, Lotus Petal. All right, so now how does Caleb approach this game? Does he want to start making constructs? Does he mystical tutor for either his tinker or his um, ancestral recall? I think There's a lot. This is a construct turn most of the time because, okay, well, he 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 wants to go for the tinker move, like kind of lean. I don't know if it's that good. Awkward that with seven mana, he can't cast both cards five plus two, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's true. Good point. All right, what will it be, Caleb? Ancestral Recall or Tinker? Oh, Tinker, tinker. okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a little bit more costly when it meets the Force of Will. Yeah. But he might not go for it right away. Let's see. Maybe he fetched for Lotus. He's the only target, maybe. So. Okay, cleaning a bit the hand. Not bad. Cool move. Yeah, he could. It maybe would have been a tiny bit better to brainstorm first and then play the mystical tutor afterwards. Um, just based on. Yeah, just in case if you like, um, like if you hit, right? Yeah. Right, if you draw the tinker off the brainstorm. Oh, no. Well, but it was on the upkeep. Yeah, he went end of turn mystical tutor, and then during oh. the draw step, he brainstormed. Okay, okay. This is going to be force of willed. Caleb is left with nothing, and LSV is in a dominant position. Perhaps not so dominant that Caleb couldn't draw ancestral recall into some nice it's, ones, but um, I think the only bad draws are blue sources, so it's. Like Adeline now into uh, like adversary next turn attacker's gonna be three three at least four four with a planes so it looks Yeah, it seems like the only thing you can do, he has to main phase unexpectedly absent because otherwise the Caracas could protect the Adeline. LSV gets to attack for nine, and that's it. All right, so that's uh, Los Banditos up four to one. Yeah. Holy smokes. Like, you know, like, very first message on our Discord group with Eli and, and Luis is, okay, guys, I'm going to 3-0. As LSB say, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you and both Luises are two zero now, so it's uh, if, if my team wants to survive, we have to win every remaining match. Starting with the next one, do we have uh, Logan versus Ely or uh, Okay, it sounds like uh, Logan versus Ely is finished. So let's go to the standings and see where, where we are. Hey, we got a win. Good job, Logan. <laughs> that means we live to fight another day. Um, so uh, you and I will be back in the trenches playing our third round. And uh, we'll see if, if my team can, can even the score.